The following production may contain spoilers. Hey, this is Shadow the Jedi and Shadow Jedi back with another review. Here's the top nine animated films of 2016. Number nine is Storks. It's an okay movie. There's a few good jokes, a ton of bad jokes. The characters are likable, for the most part. The, the animation was pleasant. Uh, Keen Peel in it were kind of funny. It had potential, okay? It had one of my favorite comedians, Andy Samberg. It had Keen Peel and the producers of the Lego movie. It just fell flat, okay? It's a 6,000 okay movie. Alright, so now let's move on to number 8, The Angry Birds Movie. It's a good movie. Uh, the bird puns are terrible. It was uh, really fun, though. Like The, the big finale. Uh, let's just say the voice actors they got for the birds were great. Mm -hmm. The animation was awesome. And the big finale at the end was on the edge of my seat action. Yeah. It was a so... And... There was a few good songs thrown in there. Yeah, it was. It was a like I said, it was a fun movie. The I like the the creativity. Yeah, characters were flat. Yeah, there wasn't much backstory other than Red had a little bit of backstory. I, well, Red was a flush out. Was a well flush out character. Yeah, all the others though just kind of fell into place. So, Bomb was kind of funny. Oh yeah, Bomb was. And Bill Hader pit in the pigs. Yeah. The Angry Birds movie is a 7 out of 10 good movie. Now, let's talk about The Secret Life of Pets. Alright, so this is number 7, Secret Life of Pets. Alright, so The Secret Life of Pets, uh, kind of a copy of Toy Story, but it's still really good it, animation it held up. and good characters. Uh, characters are inspiring after it gets off. I think they make you get off your butt and do something in your life. <laughs> and the animation was pleasant, and the jokes were for kids and adults to enjoy. Yeah, that's always the sign of a good animated film where it's, it's like kids and adults yeah, can both enjoy The story it. was a com was a bit of a copy of Toy Story. Yeah, it was exactly two brothers get acting at each other, and who can forget the secret society? Mm -hmm. The animation is pleasant. The characters are likable and inspiring. Mm -hmm. The jokes are funny. Yeah, it's it's like a good movie. There's not anything super bad about it, but there's not anything that stands out either. Other animation animation's stands. good. Jokes are really funny. Yeah, what would you rate it? A 7 out of 10, good movie. Hmm. Alright, so now let's move on to number 6, Moana. Let me just say, I'm not a big fan of musicals. The songs in this movie got on my nerves. Except for the Drain Johnson rock song. Like, you're welcome. Let me just say, the Moana character was pretty likable. Not great. The animation's great. Most of the characters besides Moana and Maui were kind of generic and lame. And had zero backstory whatsoever. Besides the grandma. And the story... Is predictable. And Malawi was a bit of a jerk, but then he's he's a likable, self-proclaimed demigod. The movie's good, at best. How was the animation? Great. Hmm, so what would you rate it? <sighs> Seven out of ten. The movie. All right. So now let's move on to number five. Sing. By Illumination. We did a review on this, so go check it out. Uh, characters are good. Storyline was good. Soundtrack was awesome. Animation was okay. Yeah, I did notice that about the animation wasn't totally top notch. It was just normal 2016 animation now, and the the soundtrack wasn't that pretty awesome. Yeah, now it's good as Guardians. Yeah, nothing will beat Guardians except may possibly Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Yeah, that's that's always a hope. <laughs> yeah, go check out a review on it. Alright, so that brings us to number four, Kubo and the Two Strings. Okay, if I had to say something about Kubo, it's that it's unpredictable. 
and that's a good thing. Uh, the the stop motion animation, I loved it. It was literal. I couldn't tell the difference if it's a three D animated film. The characters look great. Cubo is a likable kid character. There was really good twists and turns in the story. I really, I really can't say much about it since it's literally spoilerish. But I really want you to see it, so go check it out. Cubo the two in the two strings is an eight out of ten great movie. All right, so now we are in the top three. So with number three, we have Kung Fu Panda Three. This movie was fun. It was really, really fun. Animation was amazing. Yeah. The characters were great. It the was, story was good. Yeah, it was my favorite of the Kung Fu Panda trilogy. In my opinion, it's not as good as the other two, but still Kung Fu fun for everybody. Yeah, and I really like the uh, like the creativity of that village with all the little pandas. There wasn't much creativity, but the characters were really well likable. Yeah. The action scenes were awesome. Yeah. The the movie was just I really I really liked it personally. Yeah, the, I like the dad character. Oh, yeah, where he goes back to find his dad. I really found him a likable character since he all he wants to do is protect his son. Mm. Poe is still a likable geek mm. in all of us. And it really ties you great bow in his story. Yeah. Unless they make a comfort in a four. <laughs> How'd that go down? Oh, yeah. Well, they, the producer says it's a six-part movie series. Six? So there's three more? Possibly. All right, wow. Well, with that, we're going to head to number two, Finding Dory. This is a great movie. Yeah, I really like it. The animation was great. I liked new, new, new characters. The story was suspenseful. Yeah, I didn't really know what Disney was going to do with the sequel. And emotional. But... In my opinion, it holds up well with the original. Yeah, I think maybe it might have even surpassed it. Possibly. Mm. Yeah. Depends on how you're looking at it. Like, animation. I mean, Finding Neo was... The animation was good for its time. It was 13 years ago. Yeah, that's... That's crazy. Yeah, it does everything a sequel should do. They made it bigger, and they made it better. Yeah, and they... Every character was was done well from the 2003 film. The new characters were great. I like the new characters. And they made Nemo's world a lot bigger, so yeah. now they can expand onto yeah, it. Yeah, I like... I like the scenes they went through. Yeah, and I like that it was... It kind of followed up from the first movie. Like, it wasn't its own separate story. I kind of like that it still followed. It still goes into place with the original movie. Uh, there's a few flaws. Like, mm. Nemo and Marlin would had no place in the movie at all. Yeah, they, I mean. And an octopus driving a truck. <laughs> but there's yeah. some good, good deal, but the emotional aspect holds it up pretty well. Yeah, it's actually a really complex film for it, you know, being Age geared towards, yeah, geared towards the little kids, but it, really, you can look at it however you want. Adults can enjoy it at the same time as little kids. Exactly. It's an 8 out of 10 great film. Alright, and this might be my most favorite animated film of all time. It is number one, you Utopia. Know, it, it, it is a... 9.5, nearly perfect film. Where should we start? You go. Okay, let's Animation, just start. Animation, characters, and storyline is done fairly well. The characters were great. They were three-dimensional. It felt like they came from a live-action movie series. Animation was flat-out flawless. And the storyline and the storyline had a pretty good mystery. Except I knew it was a lamb in the trailer. It's yeah, what I want to talk about is the creativity behind this, Zootopia. This it's it's genius. The I remember a couple of years back hearing of this movie coming out. And I saw some concept art, and I was just in awe of that that city. It was so beautiful, so creative. Unlike anything that this world has seen, um, it's it's really innovative. I love Demoral. At this time in the timeline right now, about America, the movie stands out of unity. Mm -hmm. It stands up for equality in everything I stand for. This will go down as my also favorite film of all time. Wow. So, 
it looks like Zootopia is a very good movie, and you said you rated it 9.5, nearly it's perfect. In, yep. I, uh-huh. I rate it to everyone, not just little kids, mm. not not just older people, not for middle-aged every people, for everyone. Yeah, because this movie can be taken multiple ways. It's an, it, it seems, it's more like a dark film than anything. Yeah, I, I mean... Those I, are dark movies, just like a few jump skills thrown in. Yeah, I, it was, it was beautiful. The, Judy was a very likable character and well-motivated. Mm-hmm. Nick was a great, was a very likable yeah. swindler. Yeah, yeah I, all three, together. Three-dimensional character. Amazing film. 9.5. Nearly perfect film. Alright. And with that said, that concludes our top nine animated films of 2016. Let's hope that 2017 gives us great anime features too. All this right. is Shadow Eye signing out, and also Shadow Eye signing out, and good night and goodbye. Happy New Year! I'm blue.